Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again bringing another math video. In this math video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, the axis of symmetry. So I think that the axis of symmetry is actually one of the most important topics that um, you'll probably cover in grade 10, maybe grade 11. I do it in grade 11. Um, so the axis of symmetry, let me write that out, is something very specific to quadratics and graphs, specifically graphs of quadratics. So um, if we have a parabola, so a parabola looks something like this. this, is just a U-shaped graph. Basically you have a vertex down here and I'm going to call that vertex HK. So you may have seen this um, this written out before. This is called vertex form. So there, there's a few different forms of a quadratic and depending on where you're located it's called something totally different. It's not really anything standardized. I used to call this when I was growing up standard form and when I became a teacher they told me I had to call it uh, vertex form so I do that now. Um, so the quadratic has a vertex and a vertex represents the minimum or the maximum point so the way I have the drawn right now this would be a minimum point because it's the lowest point on the graph so at that point if we drew a line directly through it so a vertical line directly through that um, vertex we create what's called an axis of symmetry so the reason why they give it this silly name is because it divides the graph directly into equal pieces. So along that line, I guess they call that the axis, it creates symmetrical parts of the graph. So these two basically are mirror images of each other and they're exactly the same essentially. So in vertex form, the axis of symmetry is actually really e easy. So if I have something um, where, you know, let me just um, redraw a graph. So if I have a parabola, I'll give instead of h and k, I'll give it some. I'll give it a number. Um, say negative two, three. So that's my vertex. So my vertex is negative two, three. So basically, the axis of symmetry is x is equal to um, negative two. So the axis of symmetry basically is the x coordinate of the vertex. So that x equals negative 2 represents a line through x equals negative 2. So this line right here. That line that goes through um, x equals negative 2 represents my axis of symmetry. Now, if you have a vertex form, so all you need to do is be able to pick out that h value. So in our case, my vertex form for this guy would have been written as um, y is equal to, I don't know what the a value is, we'll just assume it's 1, x plus 2 squared plus 3. So that right there would represent my h value. Now the reason why it's plus is because it's subtract negative 2, which makes it plus 2. So that means my h value would be negative 2. So your axis of symmetry is actually equal to that h value in vertex form. Now, if you have something that's not in vertex form, so the other form that you might be familiar with is standard form, which was what I was growing up, I called it general form, but anyway. Um, so let me just make up an example. So normally it would be uh, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So the axis of symmetry in this form, in standard form, is given by this magical formula negative b over 2a. So this formula right here I tell my students is really wonderful because if you know it you don't have to complete the square. So um, by knowing this formula you don't have to complete the square. But for us just finding the axis of symmetry um, if we know this formula it's really useful for finding the x coordinate of the vertex. That's all this guy does is the x coordinate of the vertex. So x is not the x intercepts, it's the x coordinate of the vertex. So if I have something like this, y is equal to um, 2x squared minus 8x plus 10. If I want to find the x coordinate of the vertex or the axis of symmetry, it's x is equal to 
negative and then negative 8 so it's negative that negative right there and then negative 8 all divided by 2 and then my a value right there is 2 so that's 8 divided by 4 which is equal to 2 so my axis of symmetry the line that divides the graph in two equal pieces would be x is equal to 2 now if I wanted to find the y coordinate of the vertex after I have that done all I have to do is take this 2 and plug it back in for x. So in our case over here, I don't have much space below there, so I'll just do it over here. y is equal to 2 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 10. So what do we have? We have 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8 minus 16, so that's negative 8 plus 10 is 2. So the vertex would be 2, 2. Alright guys, so hopefully this explains to you what the axis of symmetry is. Basically it's the imaginary line that divides the graph of a parabola or a quadratic into exactly two equal pieces. It's given to you when the quadratic is in standard form by x is equal to negative b over 2a or in vertex form your h value. Some people might like it as p. Um, so hopefully this helps. I'll see you guys in class. Thanks for watching.